towards Fayette, but the main line is still well back to our west. This storm system already prompting tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings in central Louisiana. By the time it reaches us, though, our dynamics will just not be in place for that. That's why the greatest risk for severe weather is central and southern Louisiana, south Mississippi, even through the panhandle of Alabama and Florida. So for us, the marginal risk has been taken out. So I'm not calling for severe weather tonight, but there could be some widespread wind gusts exceeding about 30 miles per hour. That can disrupt anything that's loose in the front yard, including some of that Christmas decor. So tie down any loose objects that you might have. Wind speeds right now in North Alabama already at 20 miles per hour. Those are going to pick up overnight tonight. Let's talk about when that rain is set to arrive. The heaviest rain gets here close to midnight tonight from Coleman Jasper into Tuscaloosa moves through Birmingham from midnight to 3 a.m. Right along the main line. That's where the winds will be strongest again. 20 to 40 mile per hour gusts of wind. That continues into East Alabama through 6 a.m. And then the rain turns cold as this cold air is chasing behind this cold front. It could turn some of that liquid rain into some snowflakes. It's a good possibility some flurries will be found from central up to East Alabama. I think that this will be more of a higher elevation snow than anything. So don't go counting, uh, you know, don't don't bet on it is all I'm saying right now, because we are going to be uh, looking at some cold air for sure. Frigid temperatures for your Christmas day temperatures in the teens and 20s Friday morning, followed by highs only in the 30s for Christmas, but it's blustery. It'll only feel like the upper 20s most of the day. Good news. If you're looking for a warm up, it's here next week. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast.